Greetings. I'm the Right Reverend Dr. Carmen Lansdowne, moderator of the United Church of Canada. Saturday, September 30th, marks the federally recognized National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, also known as Orange Shirt Day. On this day, we reflect and honor survivors, their families and communities affected by the legacy of the so-called Indian residential schools and those who operated them. Orange Shirt Day is not to be celebrated as a holiday. It is a day to reflect, to learn, and to pray about the continued impact of colonial policies and governance in what we now call Canada. All Canadians are victims of Indian residential institutions, whether you attended one of the schools, whether you're an intergenerationally affected relative like me, a granddaughter of a survivor, whether you're a parent left behind or a non-Indigenous person in Canada who is fed a false history. As members of a church that operated residential institutions, every member of the United Church of Canada is accountable for learning about the tragic and painful legacy of the institutions and how it continues to impact the lives of Indigenous peoples across the country. Between 1925 and 1969, the United Church of Canada operated a total of 15 institutions within the Indian Act system as part of the federal government's policy of assimilating Indigenous peoples. The Heltzuk Joint Leadership of hereditary chiefs and elected chief and councillors have called not for reconciliation, but for a concept in our language called Hilsistut, or to turn around and make things right. It is not about reconciling two parties who have harmed each other, but non-Indigenous accountability for harms done to Indigenous people in the name of the Church, in the name of the Crown, and as a society that has normalized Euro-Christian whiteness. Children in those institutions suffered physical, sexual, emotional, spiritual, and cultural abuse for which they sued the government and churches. This resulted in the Indian Residential Schools Settlement Agreement, which included the creation of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada. Its final report and calls to action make clear that there is still a very long journey ahead of us as we seek to make things right. It also revealed a colonial legacy that continues to this day inequities and injustices continue to exist in areas as far-ranging as education and child welfare, violence against women, and violation of treaty and nation-to-nation -nation rights in the face of resource extraction on Indigenous lands. And all of Canada is Indigenous land. I hope you will join me with millions of other Canadians, Indigenous and non-Indigenous alike, and spend time in reflection, prayer, and action on this National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Wallace Gaskat.